Derek Derry is yeah, TV you know. magic. And, like, magic, the rain behind you is gone. You know, is it just fine. It lasted all and evening here. the lightning, here. too. The yeah. lightning, uh, everything got together. We're going to do it again at a four. And tomorrow, time is going to be a little different. But uh, it is still going to be a wet week. And no matter how you slice it here, this front is not going anywhere. It's to our north. And it's dividing some really fantastic weather up in the panhandle from uh, the tropics uh, down here uh, where we are. 94 degrees was the high temperature today. That felt like about 103, 104 in the afternoon. 89 is our normal temperature. How did your neighborhood do here? We had some areas picking up uh, north of three inches. There's Kendall coming in at 2.36. And this was the footprint of rain. It's hard to see the peninsula here. That's how you know how much rain fell. And most of us got in on it here. It wasn't just, you know, a few scattered storms. This will likely continue uh, for uh, tomorrow. The timing a little bit different, and it may not be as widespread, but we'll make up for that as we hit into Wednesday and into Thursday as well before we finally break this pattern. It's going to take a while. That front's uh, going to mean business here, so another day of excessive rain potential uh, with anywhere from one to three inches in a short amount of time. So there's the front. This is the dry air up to the north. It's going to be cool up in the panhandle for today. That's never going to make it here, but you know, the front itself will push through and at least allow for a drying trend to begin as we head into the weekend. But we're going to have to wait till Friday. So for tomorrow, heading into Wednesday and Thursday, a stalled front means a lot of rainfall and that convergence of air there with air rising. And you know, we have our sea breezes going, uh, daytime heating, everything is coming together for another stormy afternoon. And then we'll call it spotty storms, I think, on Friday. The uh, area of low pressure will develop along that front. That's going to help it move down to the south. And on the back side of it, we're going to get a nice north wind, and that should dry us out. Not completely. We're uh, not going to be talking about zero rain chances, but we'll come down 20 to 30 by the time we get into Saturday. It's going to be a different weekend than what we just dealt with the last couple of days. There is rain tracker for uh, tomorrow. We'll continue to see showers and storms, and there you see them kind of you know uh, interacting, and that's when you really get into the heavy rain potential. And through Friday, just in general, two to four inches is a good bet. Some of us could pick up a little bit less or a little bit more depending on some of the cells in the tropics. So we have a couple of areas here. We have a 70% chance of this developing. What is this? Well, it's nothing right now. Hasn't even come off Africa, but eventually late this week and into the weekend that looks to develop into the next system. But like Nigel here, a hurricane going nowhere, that one looks to follow in its tracks. So we'll watch it closely, but it uh, looks good right now. This is the area of low pressure I was just talking about that 30% chance when these fronts hang up, you get these lows persisting thunderstorms activity. Sometimes they can slowly organize into a tropical system, but that's going to be headed north. It could be a big rainmaker for the Carolinas by the weekend. We don't have to worry about it. In fact, we'll be on the dry side of that pattern as the north wind takes over behind the low. The rest of your summer fall begins Saturday. Look at that. We'll dry out uh, nicely, I think, at least to compare to where we've been for the upcoming first fall weekend.